boss always got it dipping. Little niggas don't listen till I pull up and tip it, man. Who the fuck tipping? I get a nigga missing. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Arthur Terry Roden, man. In the boot, in the boot, in the hot seat. Y'all know, for the heart of the streets, Terry Roden TV. We got Infant today in the hot seat, man. Infant, tell us a little something about yourself, man. Infant, man. Came from right here, Village area, Ball Village area, Crenshaw District, Jones, wherever you want to call us, you feel me? Uh, so, for people who don't know, is that LA? Yeah. What part of LA that is? Some people say it's West LA. Some people, just the West, West side of LA though. Where we at right now? Cause it's like we're in the hills. Like it look like we somewhere like exclusive, like in the hills somewhere. Like we overseeing a whole over LA, man. So what, what's, what's this considered? <laughs> well, yeah, man. So tell us a little, a little bit about Infant, man. You, you know, you got a couple songs out there that's that's booming and that's hot right now, and. And social media is going up, man. So tell us a little, a little about you, man. Oh yeah, uh, I said uh, came with this regular. This regular was like a, it wasn't even like a, like a song. Like to rap wasn't always something I wanted to do. Like, growing up, I ain't know what I wanted to do. I couldn't really put my finger on what I did want to do, but it wasn't music. Like, but this regular was just something I, I ended up writing it, and I ended up letting a gang of my homies listen to it. And then, like my homie really pressured me to put it out. And so I ended up putting it out and then I ended up doing numbers. But then when I shot the video, I ended up going to jail the same day I shot the video. So it was like when I ended up going to jail that day, like while I was sitting in jail, the video was just going up, going up, going up. By that time, by the time I came home, I was like, So all so the video you said just took off while you was in jail. Yeah, so how do that feel like coming home to know you got a song and and by the way, how many what's the numbers on it right now? How's it doing? The video like three hundred thousand. So we said about three hundred three hundred three hundred K? SoundCloud is had a million views. Oh a million views on SoundCloud. That's good numbers. So when you said so when you see those numbers, do it do it like put a smile on your face knowing like, man, this is just something I just decided to do or like how do you feel about that? It take me by surprise, but it's like at first it's me, like out of all people, I ain't think like my music, like gang of people just start listening to it, like I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't right. You know so but like when I end up putting it out and everybody start liking it's like it's a good feeling when somebody can, can vibe with you or what you say can can like relate to what you're talking about. Cause it's like not everybody can relate what you're talking about. Cause some people don't don't live in your world. So for like all the young kids that that probably can relate to like what you talking about in your songs and stuff, what do you have to tell them? Like what what would you tell them, advise them not to do that you did to even go to jail or just different stuff that you can to make them do positive? School. School? school. That, school. Yeah, stay school. in school? It's a school and save your money. If you yeah. don't like school then save your money. You gotta do something like to to like not make you corrupted to where you need money. Cause everybody gonna need money. Right. Everybody needed. Everybody needed to live. And it's some people, they mind get corrupted when they need it too much. It was like school. Was, I wish I would have stayed in school. Like, gotcha. Yeah. So like, what's like your next projects? Or after after your first project that you said did numbers while you was in prison, like, and it and it and it not only did it did it motivate you to I push out prison, more? I, was in the county. I mean, in jail. Yeah. Did yeah. it motivate you to do more? Yeah, hell yeah. When I came home and, and seen the buzz, like everybody like, oh, I like your music, I fuck with your music. Like, I had an Instagram before the Instagram I got now. Everybody was hitting that Instagram, tag me and like, they at my name and, and, and songs, singing my songs, like everything. So I ended up putting, well, like my push to put out more music was people were like, well, what else you got? Like, he can't, he can't produce nothing else. But so what else did you put out? Have you put out anything else since yeah, then? Yeah, welcome to Brown Village. Scotty Pippen, I got with Sauce and Chugs, Knocked Off, I got with Chugs, I got J Gang, Murder Gang with myself, Big Dirty Sticks, myself. Um, I got, well, it's regular, of course, myself. That's what so, like, with all those, which one's doing the most? Name your top three that you feel right now. So, a person that don't know you and is watching this or want to go, 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 go see who you are. J Gang, Murder Gang, Big Dirty Sticks, and it's regular. It's regular, and them, them getting numbers right now. You said they doing numbers, and so, so what? How do you feel like? How do you feel about your career as of now? Like, how do you? Where do you sit at in the next two to three years? Well, the next two to three years, I'm 
see myself like right now I'm working on getting my LLC so the next two to three years I want to be above I am now and also have artists like little artists that I bring up myself like little people in my community little dudes that can rap little girls that can rap or whatever they do you know what I'm saying just to help right because like, I know everybody like like everybody wish they could like they look on TV and like hey, I want to be that person I want to be the person with the jewelry with the with the watches and like if I can like you know what I'm saying if I can get that spot to put them in that position that would be more than that would do right so like with that being said like where where do you see yourself being in the next six months with your career? Next six months? Uh, dropping my project. Dropping your project. Now let's talk about your project. Like, who all do you have on your project and, and, and what are your next project? Is it EP or is it a full album or what's like what's your what's your goals for the next six months with your project? Mixtape. I got a mixtape coming. Mixtape? I got a mixtape coming. Probably the only question you probably gonna really gotta look out for my mixtape is Chucks. Chucks, got you. Chucks. So like, all right, let me ask you this. So like, being from the Jays, do you do you venture outside the Jays? Do you do? Would you do any songs with like any anybody? Let's say like a a a, 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 a Crip or a a, a, a <coughs> Pyro or Blood that's not out from the Jays? Do you venture out just outside of that? Oh yeah, uh, I got a song with my boy Earl Swavey. Earl Swavey. I got a song out called Knocked Off. I'm not knocked off. I'm tripping. My bad. Uh, it's called Some Drop Some with Drop Earl some. Swavey. A song called Drop Song with Earl Swaby. Uh, got another song with some, uh, if you ever heard of Bread Camp? Bread Camp? I got some songs with some dudes from Bread Camp. Uh, supposed to be working soon with my boy Eli 3800. Eli 3800? Yeah, he had a company. Gotcha. So, so you so you are venturing out and doing other songs. That, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. a song with uh, One Take J. One Take J. Yeah. Uh, AZ cool. Chike. That's Chike. what I'm talking about. So, so right now you're just building the career up and and, and, and staying positive with yeah. it. Shout out to AZ Code too. Got you. Oh AZ Code. Uh, low, low to great. Got you. See, AZ Sway used to be in my studio. That's my, that's my, that's my boy, man. He used to be in my studio and shit up there with me at the shop. Shop. So you know, I know they whole little, you know, what yeah, they yeah, got going and yeah. stuff. So shout out to them. Um, so let me ask you this: Where do you see? the whole rap industry as a whole on the West Coast within the, let's say the LA base or LA County based artists, where do you see that within the next year? Do you see more artists coming together or more artists falling off? Uh, like as of now, like, I'd say like, I see artists come together. Like, That's artists positive. coming together, like, but it's like you still got artists like in their own sense, in their own bubble, you know what I'm in saying? In their own sections yeah, or yeah. where they want to yeah, like as in like um, um Ron Ron and the producer in them for instance. Like you know the whole Sting team and um drummer gang and you know they came they whole little come together was like you feel me? Right. Like, that was something like that was some, some genius shit, you know what I'm saying? Like like I just said if the city come together, like it like we get more out of it. We get more right. out of the city. So that's the whole shit. So the heart of the street, even though we the heart of the street, we could be on negative, but we try to be on positive. And what you just said, if the city come together, we'd be on more positive stuff. With that being said, like, and, and wrap up a couple more of these questions, wrap up this interview, man. What do you feel about the whole industry um, right now that's going on, like, worldwide? Like, let's say, for example, with 6 9 what do you feel about 6 9 Takashi? Uh, that's, 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 that's a good say too much this is just like don't be stupid like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? you can't be stupid like you you get blessed like if you get blessed just don't 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 like oversee your blessings and, and fuck over them with stupidity you know what i'm saying with a gang of stupidity thinking it's making you like more of a visual icon but it's just stupidity and, and right like, you're gonna because a person who live it look at it like, man, that's dumb. We don't. Stupid, like you in a you in a higher gesture than the people that you beefing with. You, you feel what I'm saying? It's like right. you can't even come sit with me. Like if to come in this door, you need the amount of money I got. So it's like you can't even come sit with me because you broke. You feel right. what I'm saying? So it's like, why do I even need to uh, waste my time even arguing with you, even giving you feedback? You know what I'm saying? On to the next question. Last question, man. What you think about? Right now, with the XXX death, what you think about his death? Like, what, like, what do you, what do, you, what, are, what are your thoughts on that? Like, 
people got their own opinions about him, like what type of person he was. And I ain't never listened to his music, so I can't even really give you an opinion on him. Like, Respect he died, that. You feel me? That's messed up in a sense because he died. Like, everybody would hate to lose a loved one, you feel me? So it's like, rest in peace to him because he died, you know what I'm saying? But like, me as in like being heartfelt for him, like, you don't got no thoughts. Yeah, because I ain't gotcha. never listened to his music. I don't, like, I don't want to build no relationship with him through his music or nothing. Like, I don't know. Gotcha. With that being said, man, it's the Hearts of the Streets, Terry Rowland TV, man. If it's Infant, Infant, thanks for coming on, man. Yeah, thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, for all the people me. that's watching, man, can you tell them where they could contact at you? Because there might be some people on here, some young dudes that, that, that like your struggle and feel they want to be like you or inspired to be like you, man. They probably want to contact you. Can you tell the people how they could contact you and find you if they need to get at you? Oh, you can find me on Instagram at Born Village Kid, all together, no underscores, no dots, no spaces, just all together, Born Village Kid. You can find me, you can subscribe to my YouTube page at BSF Infant. You can find me on Facebook at Bad Guy Infant. And infant as in N F A N T. Got you, man. Thanks for coming on once again. The Hearts of the Streets TV, Terry Roden TV. Hit us up, subscribe, man. Like and get that info when y'all get a check.